Through an interactive program of training and mentoring employees with leadership potential, the loaned executive program aims to provide the loaned executive with the skills required to manage an employee engagement program. Now, employees within the company are trained in leadership development, public speaking, project management, and community awareness. Sounds a bit confusing, right? Well, to tell us more, we've got the dealer principal at Val Toyota, Hans Stradom. Good morning, Hans. It's good to have you with us. Good morning. I'm glad to be here. Hans, please unpack for me the idea behind the Loaned Executive Program. The Loaned Executive Program is an initiative by Lusa Community Chest um, where they approach companies. The companies then identify executives in the company um, who then goes on a 12-week training with Lusa Community Chest where they sensitize them to community issues. Um, they get taught how to deal with community issues in a responsible and a sustainable way. So let me understand, you've got employees within uh, Val Toyota yes. and they are then handpicked to go and train with Lusa for, for 12 weeks. Yes. And the skills that uh, they then acquire, where do they use them? The, the skills, first of all, that they require of, um, with these basic presentation skills, because once they're finished with us, they need to have impact in the community. Mm -hmm. And some of them deal with high profile customers. They need to be able to present the community that they're presenting or the, 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 the challenges in the community uh, to these companies or to other executives to get them involved. We teach them basic communication skills. Um, they need to understand NPOs, uh, CBOs and how they operate and also to identify a legitimate CBO and a legitimate NPO. Mm -hmm there's many many of these organizations that are not registered in terms of legislation and it's actually very dangerous to get involved with them so uh, that's why they need to uh, if they approach these communities at least identify a legitimate um, organization we teach them um, basic uh, fundraising skills uh, many of these um, NGOs and, and CBOs need funds desperately to operate mm -hmm. Um, they get uh, strategic planning is one of the training schedules that they get taught with um, and then basic um, strategies of dealing with community issues and also team building which is very important because they, can, they cannot do this alone. Now from your side as the company, how do you identify potential candidates who will be enrolled in this program? They usually come to the fore very naturally. They are people that uh, first of all are very sensitive to the other employees needs uh, you always see them that um, if there's a need amongst their fellow employees that they will be the one that will see that that they would be the one that that they would care uh, they inspire other people in just the way they're working and the way they're doing things and they're generally involved in the community already and even if it's in a very small and insignificant way they are involved. And what's the benefit for, for the company itself to empower such leaders who have mutual concern with, with the people in the communities in which they live? It benefits the overall performance. Um, if our employees are involved in their community um, it's the, the reap and sow benefit. So if our community see that we're involved, that we're sensitive to their needs they will support us um, in any way they can. Even if they don't have uh, the ability to support us, they can refer people to us. It's a two-way street for us. Um, we, res we take responsibility for our community. We feel we as a business um, derive our profits out of the community. So some of our profits we need to reinvest in the community. And what's very important, and that's where the training comes in, is a big frustration of many of these communities is that people approach them, they make promises, um, and they never see them again. Through training, um, we also sensitize them that if they get involved with, these, with their community, it needs to be in a responsible manner and it needs to be sustainable. So if there's any uncertainty that they'll be able to at least commit to, to, to a community project for one year, we don't allow them and we don't support them. Um, we need, to, we need to, the, the support to be sustainable. So the community, if we give them promises, if we give them commitment, they can know that for, at least for the next year that we will be committed and we will do and, and, and uh, give what we said we'll do. And what are your immediate short-term objectives uh, with this program, uh, particularly in the next 12 months? 
In the next 12 months, uh, we involved, uh, especially with, with uh, children at the moment, with vulnerable children. Uh, we feed about 180 children at the moment, on, once a week. Uh, we want to try and grow that to twice a week. This is very difficult because what we decided as a company is that our own employees must cook the food, our own employees must prepare the food, they must deliver, um, they must be in touch with the community. So it's very difficult for them because uh, we allow them time in their work day, uh, but to cook for 180 children is a massive task because task, we've got quite a small um, uh, employee base. We've got 38 people uh, that are employed with me there. and. It's uh, to cook for 180 people is a challenge and mm. still do your work. Mm. Sounds like a brilliant initiative, Hans. Uh, much appreciated. Thank you for sharing it with us this morning and we wish you the best. Thank you for allowing me to be here. And if you'd like more information on this particular loaned executive program, uh, you can visit us on our website. It's www.growingtomorrow.co.za or give us a call on the hotline number 011 791 5658.